we are in a very, very... De this is where knowledge has been increased, as the Bible says. We're in the last... Day. And I've tried to tell you these last few days about some of the things that are happening that you've never seen before. We've never heard about them hardly before. And this tells us that Jesus is coming soon, and we're in the perilous times the Bible talks about. And we believe that the church, when they're warned, the Bible says a wise man, you know, prepares when he sees a, a warning to, a, a, and, 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 you know, does things to prepare. Yes. But a fool doesn't prepare. Mm -hmm. uh, let, let's go again, Darren Parker's here with us, our head of security. Give us the next one thing that is important to be prepared. You told us you started out. Yeah, with so the three. yeah, I gave you the the list. Um, air, of course, you got to be able to breathe air. Shelter, you have to have shelter. So let's talk about water. So when you're when you go to prep, uh, you want to make sure you have the amount of water you're going to need to be able to survive. Now you want to think about what is your goal, what's your objective, how far out do you want to go. Now, when the government says you need to prepare for three days, I'd start thinking about three weeks. Yes. Because if they're saying three days, you're going to need three weeks. Yeah. yeah. So whatever you come to, though, you you have to make that decision. If we have an EMP, it's you need oh, to it's be, be longer than that. Sure. For yeah. Three years. Yeah, but when it comes to getting yourself ready, it can be overwhelming. Yeah. If you start thinking like that, you want to get there eventually. Yeah. Uh, but you want to again, you want to stay stay grounded in, in reality. So, yeah. so work on getting enough preps to get you through three days. So water, how, how much water do you need? Yeah, how how much does, so for each person, you need a gallon of water at a minimum, a gallon of water a day mm -hmm. to make it. So if you have two people in your household, you're going to need two gallons a day. So mm -hmm. if you're prepping for three days. Okay. What about your toilet? You, your, your toilet won't flush without water. And sure. so, so where you, what I've you need I've read there, that the, the waste will kill people as much as anything. Yes, because you have to deal with that eventually. You're going to have to deal with that. You don't want to pile it up because then now you've got all kinds of diseases and things. So here's what you, so this is what you need to look at then. Do you have a renewable water source available to you? And when I say renewable water, do you have a creek running by the house, a, a river, a lake, a pond, a, a, a swimming pool, anything like that? Do you have a way to get to water? Now, if you live in the city and you're on a you're on the sewer system, the city sewer, mm -hmm. it's going to get bad mm -hmm. because if it's an EMP, there's no power. I'm worried about the city, like New York. What if you live on the 25th oh, floor no. of a high rise? Oh. What are you going to do? You you don't have a hand pump. You you won't live very you're long. You're in big trouble. No, you better have plans to get out of that place. Yeah, get out of Dodge. Yeah, right? yeah. So if you're in a big city, you you want you want plans to get out of there. Yes. Yeah. Because that's so, going to be bad quick. How long can you live without water? Three days. Three days. So you, you want to make sure you have... Okay, so this is what I tell people too. You want to live as close to normal as you possibly can. So when you're getting your preps together, because there is a learning curve. Yeah. If you're in a survival situation, a, a critical incident, there is a learning curve that you go through. Yeah. The more stress that's placed on you, the sharper that curve is. Mm -hmm. So you prepare yourself. So let's say you, you get three days. I have three gallons of water per person. So if something happens, I have three days now to figure out how I'm going to collect, store, filter, and purify water mm. from a renewable water source. All right. It gives me three days to figure that out. But you have to have a renewable water source. Now, you go back to the toilet situation. Uh, if you're on city water and the power is out, that's going to get bad quick. So yeah. now you're going to have to figure out a way to dispose of your waste. Right. You're probably going to have to dig a hole in your yard or something. 